If you read my blog posts, you'll know Hubby and I recently went to the gin festival at Newcastle. We got to try a massive range of gins and had a really, really good night. The Gin Explorer box is a monthly subscription box, which is uh, linked to the people at the gin festival. I've been lucky enough to be sent one this month. Uh, I've been sent the August box to review. So I thought we'd, I'd show you close up what uh, what's actually inside and what you get and whether it's worth £25 a month fee. Anyway, this month's box looks like a little suitcase. It's a, it's a cardboard box, it's a good size, um, slightly bigger than A4, um, quite a bit thicker. It looks a little bit like Paddington Bear, I think it looks really cute. So anyway, once you open the box, you've got some tissue paper that's uh, protecting your things inside. Um, straight away I can see that there's a range of leaflets. Um, we'll have a look at those. There's a, a Gin Explorer August magazine. Uh, it tells you that it contains over £48 worth of goods inside your box this month. Uh, it gives you some information about the gins that come, the extras that are in your box, the tonic waters. Anyway, I'll not spoil that. We'll, uh, we'll have a look at what's inside. So, first up, there's a Gin Explorer pin badge, a nice green colour. It's quite a cute little extra. Then we've got some Deep South Dixie Barbecue Biltong Company. It's a low sugar, high protein, free from allergens. Air dried, seasoned and sliced beef. It looks like a, a bit of a healthy treat, as I'm on a bit of a health kick and a diet at the moment. But, uh, that might be slightly healthier than a packet of crisps or something that I would normally eat. So there's also some cocoa nibs, which are to add to one of the gins, I believe. There's some fever tree aromatic tonic water. I haven't tried that one before. It has a slight pink tinge to it. Um, it's quite pretty, nice girly colour. As well as that one, there's a Fever Tree Mediterranean Tonic Water. Uh, that's made with floral botanicals. I'm a big fan of tonic water. I just like it by itself with ice. So um, I tend to buy it anyway, even if I don't add it to gin. Uh, so the important bit, this month's gins. We've got a little box and the side of the larger box contain four small bottles of gin. I believe they contain 50 mils each, um, which is a double. So or you could have two singles, depending on what you fancy. I would probably go for a double, if I'm honest. But uh, just in case you fancy a single, there's enough for two drinks. If you're feeling nice, you could also share it with your partner or friend, if you're having a bit of a girly night. So the first gin we've got is Tiger Gin, a little bottle of that, uh, 50 ml bottle, 40% gin, doesn't tell you much on the bottle about the gin, um, but I think everything you need to know about it, the history, how it's made and details about the gin, gin is inside the little leaflet that you get. So second gin is X Gin, sounds a bit fancy. Uh, X-rated maybe, who knows, but um, again that one's 46%, if you can see, uh, so a stronger one. Next up we've got Isle of Wight HMS Victory Navy Strength Gin, so that one's 57%, so again a 50ml bottle, looks quite good. And lastly, but not least, we have Bimba London Dry Gin. I do like dry gin, um, but I've never tried any of these ones. They're all quite new. Um, this is a 42% gin, so the second lowest out of the lot. Um, as you can see, they're, they're quite nice little glass bottles, which I suppose you could use for something else. You could put more alcohol in or you could keep them, put them flowers in, decorative items, quite pretty anyway. 
there everything's well packaged as well so nothing's obviously arrived broken or anything like that so let's have a look at the leaflet next so here we go tiger gin the there's lots of information in the leaflet tells me about various gins a bit of history um tells me here tiger gin is full of complex flavors floral fruity and spicy notes with which all jostle for space creating a smooth and sweet crisp and refreshing blend of sweet orange and juniper um, and the suggested garnish is orange uh, so it sounds quite a nice one sounds like it's something perfect for summer the next one is this x gin which i I do like the sound of. Sounds uh, a little bit superhero-y. Rather exciting at least. So that one, the X-Gin. Juniper berries and no fewer than 45 botanicals come together to make X-Gin. It's a modern gin with a hint of cocoa and real vanilla, plus notes of hazelnuts, almonds and chilies. We hope you enjoy the cocoa nibs as a garnish too. Uh, serving suggestions with fresh raspberries, dried fruits and the nibs that come in the box as well. See if I can open them one handed and give you a look. So you get, you can see there, you get a few in the bottom. A sniff. Oh yes, they have a, a really warm chocolatey smell. Um, so anyway, yes, they go with the X Gin. Can't wait to have a try these. Is it acceptable to drink during the day when you've got a toddler in the house? Probably not. So Isle of Wight HMS Victory Navy Strength Gin is next up. That one is high concentration of botanical oils with an intense flavour and aroma. The grains of paradise shine through first with heat, followed by the rest of the botanicals and lemon zest. So Evan's suggestion is with blood orange. That's uh, the strongest of the gins in this month's box. So again, sounds quite nice. And last but not least, we've got Bimba London Dry Gin. A great balance of bright juniper, fresh citrus notes from orange and lemon, nutty coriander seeds, fragrant angelica and warm cinnamon, a dry and earthy finish and a remarkable persistence. Garnish suggestions lemon. Um, that's a 42% one. Um, yes, so they all sound pretty good. I'm all, I'm excited to try them all. I don't think it's acceptable to try them all at once though really is it so... Uh, over the next couple of nights I'll have a try and um, I'll let you know how I get on. Oh, as well as the um, information that I've just shown you, the leaflet that we've got there, there are also some other leaflets within the box. I'll show you what those are quickly just so you get an idea of what else is uh, inside. There's um, a Fever Tree leaflet. Fever Tree um, is the tonic brand. There's also a handy little one pound voucher off so you can take it to Waitrose, Sainsbury's, Tesco, Asda or Morrison's and use it in part payment for some products. It's valid until April next year so you've got plenty of time. Uh, as well as that you've got an information about Tiger Gin. It's just a postcard I think. You've got a postcard about the HMS Victory Gin um, gives you information about the product itself and tells you a little bit more about it, a little bit more in depth from the leaflet inside the box. Well, there's also a 10% voucher for any of this month's gins if you decide to buy a larger bottle. You just use the code if you want to order online and it's valid until October, so you've got plenty of time. So if there's a gin that you really like in the box, you can um, use the voucher and get 10% off a large bottle. There's also um, another leaflet about the X Gin. Tells you more information, how it should be served and 
gives you details about their website. And there's also one for the Bimbajin as well. Same. Tells you all about the botanicals that are used. 